Hi, I'm Candy Cooper, and today's word of the day is distortion. This is when we take one aspect of something and change it or make it different, usually not the normal way we might look at something. Our first example is this abstract portrait, and this actually started out as a printout of my dog, Rocker, and then I colored on top of it with special tools to make it look like this, completely distorted. So to get started, you're going to need some oil pastels. Oil pastels come in all different kinds of sets. I, of course, like my jumbo set, so I have lots of colors to pick from. You'll also need a printout. This can be anything from a magazine, or you can actually print a photo of your own. I just suggest getting something really big and jumbo if you're starting out. You don't want something with too much detail. So let's get started. If we look at um, our picture of Rocker here, you can kind of see sections of color, like the couch is orange. If you look inside his ears, here's a little triangle of pink. So it's simple as paint by number. You're just going to start coloring on top and of the actual image. And you might wanna make a, co a couple copies so that if you mess up or something, you can just start over, but it's always good to kind of have one to practice on. Um, the cool thing about these oil pastels is they go on top of all different kinds of surfaces, like slick magazines, or this um, paper is a little bit more of a matte surface. Um, you can even put them on textured surfaces like canvases. But you can see I just used a metallic oil pastel um, in silver um, to do his collar. So I'm going to do a couple more areas. This has a little bit of a blue tint to me, so let's color over that a little bit with blue. And I'm just using a zigzag motion. And then I want to show you, we can grab a, another shade of blue. And down here where it's kind of deep in his fur or by the collar, you can move in and around the, his little ID tag. Look at this you can actually blend the colors together. So I've got a better example of that underneath, one that I've been working on. Whoa, is that distorted or what? Because Rocky in real life does not have green on his fur unless he's gotten into something. Okay, so um, uh, let's look at the nose area here. You can see that his nose is just how it is in the photo. So I'm gonna go underneath here with some black and color that in. And then I'll come up with a lighter tan color. And here we can use our finger to kind of make that smear or blend together. Look, it just comes right together a little bit. And you can go back with the black if you over smeared. And what about his eyeballs here? We gotta darken those in over here and here. And then I'm gonna go around the outside with a really deep, deep blue to kind of make them hazy. And then one of the things that I always notice um, when I am working with oil pastels is sometimes crumbs, because they are so creamy and the color is so bright, sometimes you get crumbs like this right here on the surface. To get those off, you can wipe it with the, lightly with a paper towel or just give it a good tap and you can see all of the colors shake off. But what you wanna do is just keep building up your colors. And let's grab a darker pink on top and we can layer these two on top. I think we need a little bit more of this creamy peach color. Ooh, look at that. And then we'll go around the outside to get that shadowing. And then we need a white for the very tip of his ear. And he's starting to come to life. But you'll just keep working certain areas and you'll get more ideas. The more you work with this, the more ideas you'll get. But you can see we need to add some black under the, the um, paws and you can go in again and smear and blend this together like on the couch. I don't want it as detailed. So I just use my finger to blend all of that together. And these will just come off on your um, it with soap and water, they're non-toxic. But one of the other things that I think really makes your art come to life, if we look at our finished one, is the mat, right? So I brought an extra mat here, and you can see with this, I've pulled out some of the blue tones around his face with this navy mat. Let's put a red mat in front of it just so we can see not nearly as much contrast. It still looks pretty good, 
But when you're framing your artwork, you really want to think about, you know, what color of mat to put around it. So let's take it back to blue. And you can see all of that nice orange and um, our white dog Rocky pops from the, the page. And this really makes you look like you are a true artist, but really it's as simple as paint by number.